Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Sweet Tips here. Stock Pot 5, Part 3 in the series. I've given this another boil in distilled water off camera. And now before we proceed processing this material, what I have here is my newly started stock pot. And it's been allowed to bubble air. And it's been allowed to settle for about two or three days. So now all the precious metals, if any, that were in this liquid have cemented out on the copper that's down in here. And all I have is copper in solution. What I want to do is add these two waste solutions from part two of the video series back into my stock pot in case they contain any precious metals. First, I got to make some room in here. This is my waste treatment bucket, full of pieces of iron like this. And you can see in here that the uh, copper cements out on those pieces of iron in here. So we're taking the copper out of solution and the, uh, the iron goes into solution. So basically all we have left when we get done with this waste treatment process is we've got iron in solution and metallic copper in our waste treatment bucket. Now that we've got all the precious metal cemented out of the stock pot and all I have is copper in solution what we're gonna do is siphon the copper solution down into our waste treatment bucket Now I've got some room in my stock pot. We just put this one in service on 1 July. And I've got some room in here now. So what we'll do is we'll add these waste solutions from stock pot five refining series into the stock pot. Now that we've siphoned off the copper solution down into our waste treatment bucket. Now we'll cover this up, take it outside, and bubble some air through it to create some movement in here. This is my waste treatment bucket. It's got my copper in solution cementing out on those pieces of angle iron in here. And this over here is my stock pot number two. I'm gonna pull this up. And we just put that one in service. All the precious metals have cemented out now. So we'll pull this in, cover it up. Here is stock pot number one that we just filled up with our waste. I'll put this down here. And put the bubbler through this to create some movement. I put a cover on this to keep the rain off of it. Now we're going to draw off the water that's sitting on top of these solids. I've got a vacuum bottle set up here. Got a very fine tip set up on my vacuum bottle here. We're gonna get the rest of this liquid off of here without drawing up any of the solids.
Here's a look at the solids down in the bottom of our beaker. This is looking pretty good, actually. It's nice, clean, black material from both of those stock pots. And what we're going to do now is there's going to be hydrochloric acid in there no matter how many times I try to rinse this out. So we're going to collect these uh, solids now in a filter. Get this wet. I've got my specially prepared filter that rides up the edges of the funnel so we can capture 100% of this material. clean black material it's going to be hydrochloric acid in here so the only way to defeat that is to collect these solids in a filter and then we're going to burn this What I want to do is treat these solids with nitric acid. But they're in hydrochloric acid right now. I mean, I've done distilled water boils, but no matter how many I do, there's still going to be a little bit of hydrochloric acid left in there. And if I try to add nitric acid into here, it'll start putting stuff in solution, and I want to avoid that. I want to uh, be in control of when we start dissolving these solids in aqua regia. Here's our black solids. Got most of the liquid pulled off this now. So what we'll do, I've got a melt dish and I want to pull this filter out here and add these solids to this dish like that look how clean that is and now what we'll do is we'll take this out and put it in our oven oh yeah it's nice and toasty in there just below 1500 Fahrenheit around 900 Celsius I guess and so now let's look in here there's still smoke coming out of here oh yeah look at that if you look down in there you can see shrunk not very much material left we've got all of the fumes off of here I see just a little bit of smoke still coming out. Uh, you can see it's nice and hot in here. Here's our solids. They've been burnt away to almost nothing. Take this in, let it cool off. Here's our material, and it is looking right pitiful. Uh, the name of the game here is concentrating the values, and we've done that, and this is all that we have left right here. I'm going to add this to the beaker. I've got the beaker, let's see if we can find that, see that number down there? Got the beaker setting on the scale, just zero it out. Now we're going to add the solids to our beaker. And that's pretty solid sounding. Got 22.7 grams of material in there. It's a little bit more than I was expecting. Gray colored material. That should be our precious metals. Got it all cleaned up and concentrated now. Oh yeah, it's quite hard. I 
I think we can go ahead and put a stir bar in here. I'm going to set it up on our stir plate. I'm going to pour in a little bit of distilled water. I'm going to add a little bit of nitric acid now. Let's see if we can start pulling something out of these solids. That was about 50 milliliters of nitric acid. Cover this up. Add a little bit of heat. Come on, stir bar ain't working. There we go. And we'll start pulling whatever we can with nitric acid out of these solids. This has been on boiling and dilute nitric now for about uh, probably an hour. Let's pull this down. I think I made a critical error in that I didn't crush that material up before I started this. It's still kind of clumped together in there. I am getting a fairly positive result here in that we're pulling copper out of there which is a good thing we don't want any copper in with our precious metals let's try to crush these up now it's hard pieces yeah I should have uh, ground this up before we started trying to uh, pull anything with this nitric acid I think what we'll do now is pour off this blue liquid into a waste container. We're pulling copper out of there, which is a good thing. like in cording with silver and pulling that uh, pulling it back out with nitric boils very similar I just wish I would remember to crush that up before I put it in there it's kind of centered up from the from the incineration pieces centered up and came solid. I'm adding a little bit more nitric acid. And now we'll put this up on the heat again. Now we'll just keep doing these nitric boils. I'm going to reach down in here and get a little bit of this on our filter paper. See if we've got any uh, precious metals in solution. I don't see anything. Maybe just a little tiny hint of orange, but nothing significant. Had this on boiling now in nitric for about 45 minutes. Let's take this down off the heat and let it cool down. It's got just a little touch of color going on. I can't really discern what uh, what we've got in solution there. Let's. Go ahead and just get down in here with a piece of filter paper and do a stannous chloride test on this. And again, I do not see a lot of precious metals in solution. I'm going to pour 
pour this nitric boil off. Come here, you. And that stuff's looking pretty clean in there. looking at being ready to put some aqua regio on this here's our gray material and I think what we're gonna do now let's go ahead and try this just start our back down in there I think what we'll do is add a little bit of hydrochloric acid about uh, let's put about 100 milliliters in here maybe 150 we'll get an immediate reaction because there's uh, residual nitric acid in there let's go ahead and put this up on the, uh, the heat now start stirring putting something in solution here it looks a little bit on the red side to me which could be an indication of platinum it's more of a dark brown stain but I do see a hint of orange in there So we're probably putting platinum in solution and looks like gold. And our solution is turning a reddish color and I'm fairly certain that's going to be platinum solution. What we'll do here is drop in a little bit of nitric acid here. Not much, just a little bit because I don't know how this is going to react. milliliter of nitric acid. I'm going to drop in a little bit more nitric acid. It's about two milliliters. I'm going to add it real slow. I just did another Stannis test and you can see there's some orange which indicates platinum. I see some outlines of green which means palladium and that real dark stain is probably gold in solution. So we got gold, platinum, and palladium in our solution. I think I've got everything dissolved here. If you look underneath. Now well, I still got a little bit of solids left in there. Just have to keep going with the nitric acid until we get the rest of that to dissolve completely.
got this evaporated down to a syrup almost and now what we're gonna do is rehydrate it with some hydrochloric acid it's gonna pour it right on in Kill the stir bar, kill the heat, pull this down off the heat now, and let it cool down. The solution's been allowed to cool, ambient temperature. I've got a filter set up here. Now what we'll do is filter our solution Let's get the funnel out of the way. That's some kind of platinum group metal in there. I'll set this back out of the way now. This waste solution right here, this copper, it's going to have a little bit of PGMs in it. We'll put that in our stock pot. Now what I'm going to do is pull this up. We're going to put the uh, solution that we just filtered here into a clean beaker. I've got some ferrous sulfate here. And what we'll do is get a few granules of this into this spot plate. Couple of little crystals of it. Get a little bit of our solution here. Add it to this piece, this spot plate. That's got the ferrous sulfate in it. If there's gold in here, we'll see a brown cloud forming. And I do see. A brown cloud forming which means we've got gold in solution I've got some stump out here I don't know how much gold I have in solution I know I have gold in solution because I've got that test right there and that brown cloud around that ferrous sulfate means gold in solution so what we're gonna try to do I've done this in the past when I've done my stock pot is to this solution I don't know how much to add because I don't know how much gold's in there, but I'm just going to put in a couple spoons. And we're going to try to precipitate out the gold out of this solution. Probably going to get a little bit of platinum group metals coming down with it. Also, that should do it. Looks like we've got the gold to settle out here. What we'll do is I've got a filter prepared. Here's our 
here's what we've got down in the bottom of the beaker. Not quite sure what that is. Doesn't have the consistency of gold that I'm normally used to seeing. Now let's just push on here. I guess that might be gold. I'll collect this material in our filter. be gold. Quite a bit of it if it is. That's all gold. a bit of material in here if this is all gold that's going to be a, a decent amount I'm using hydrochloric acid to rinse it and we got something forming down here in the filtrate I'm not sure what that is Got the gold filtered out now in this funnel. There's our filtrate. Got a bunch of junk in it. We'll have to deal with that later. Right now we're gonna get this gold into a milk dish. Here we go, we're going to melt this up and see if we can get a yield on this gold. Here is our uh, button of gold that we just recovered from our stock pot. It's going to be contaminated with other metals, probably some platinum group metals in it. We've got 8.2 grams of gold, probably 95%. If you look in here, there's still some precipitated gold down on the bottom of this container. So we'll recover the rest of that later on. Deal with that later on. For right now, we're going to conclude part three of Stockpot 5 refining series of videos. This will conclude part three. Thank you for watching.